You've seen modern wood sealants, right? The fancy bottles promising decades of protection, impervious to rot, water, and pests. But what if I told you that, long before chemical labs and big-box stores, medieval craftsmen were preserving their timber in ways that still outperform most of today's sealants? That same knowledge, almost lost to time, can be applied in your backyard, your workshop, or even in small-scale survival projects. Today we're going to uncover the secrets of medieval wood treatment that could change the way you think about protecting timber forever. The method was born out of necessity and observation. In the medieval world, wood was more than just building material. It was a lifeline. Entire communities depended on timber for homes, ships, and tools. But wood rots, especially in damp climates, and termites and fungi, were relentless. Modern builders might rely on synthetic sealants, but medieval craftsmen turned to nature itself. They discovered that slow, deliberate processes could make timber almost impervious to decay. One of the most powerful techniques involved a combination of controlled heat, natural oils, and prolonged drying. The result was wood that could survive decades outdoors without splitting, warping, or succumbing to rot. The secret ingredient was simple, yet ingenious. At the heart of this treatment was the use of natural oils, primarily linseed oil, often boiled or combined with resins. Craftsmen would soak the wood or apply multiple layers of oil while the timber was still warm from a kiln or a gentle fire. The heat opened the pores of the wood, allowing the oil to penetrate deeply, sealing it from the inside out. Some records even suggest that certain resins, collected from pine or fir trees, were added to create a sticky, protective layer that hardened as it cooled. Unlike modern coatings that sit on the surface and can crack, this medieval method worked within the structure of the timber, making it remarkably durable. Preparation was as critical as the treatment itself. Medieval carpenters would first carefully select timber with tight growth rings and minimal knots, which naturally resisted water penetration. Then the wood was dried slowly, often outdoors under cover for months, reducing moisture without stressing the fibres. After this, the application of oils and resins would begin. A common practice was to apply the oil in stages, letting each coat soak in before adding another. This incremental approach created a deeply impregnated barrier that modern varnishes struggle to replicate. The craftsman's attention to detail made the difference between a piece of timber lasting a few years and one surviving centuries. You might be wondering, why bother with a medieval technique when modern sealants are readily available? The answer lies in longevity, environmental safety, and versatility. Unlike synthetic sealants that often contain harsh chemicals, the medieval method relies on natural materials that are non-toxic and biodegradable. For anyone building with reclaimed timber, restoring historic structures, or creating outdoor furniture that needs to last, this technique provides a sustainable and proven alternative. It's also ideal for survivalists and homesteaders who value independence from store-bought chemicals. You don't need to be a medieval blacksmith to use this technique today. Start with freshly cut or well-dried timber. Heat the wood gently using a kiln, a wood stove, or even a carefully managed fire 
just enough to open the pores. Then you'll want to apply multiple coats of boiled linseed oil, allowing each coat to soak in and dry completely. For added protection, you can mix in small amounts of pine resin or beeswax to create a harder, weather-resistant surface. This method is just perfect for outdoor beams, fence posts, garden furniture or even wooden tools. Over time, the wood develops a rich, deep colour while maintaining exceptional resilience against moisture and decay. The brilliance of medieval wood treatment lies in patience, observation and respect for materials. Modern sealants promise quick fixes, but, you know, history shows us that slow, deliberate processes create results that truly stand the test of time. By combining heat, natural oils and proper drying, you're not just preserving wood. You're honouring a centuries-old tradition that survived wars, harsh winters and generations of use. It's, you know, a hands-on lesson in how humans have always worked with nature to solve problems creatively. Restoration experts today often use these techniques when repairing historic ships or timber-framed buildings. Small-scale carpenters have revived medieval methods to create furniture that lasts decades outdoors. Survivalists and homesteaders apply boiled linseed oil treatments to tool handles, fence posts and wooden water tanks, ensuring durability without chemical dependency. Even hobbyists making wooden sculptures or instruments have found that incorporating traditional oils dramatically improves longevity and, you know, aesthetic quality. If you're serious about woodworking, historical construction or self-reliance, exploring this medieval technique will give you an edge modern products simply can't match. It's a method that blends art, science and history in one powerful application. So, if you found this guide useful and want to dive deeper into practical history, hands-on techniques and survivalist knowledge, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this with fellow history enthusiasts. By doing so, you'll help preserve these ancient practices for future generations and ensure you never miss out on tips that could honestly change the way you work with wood forever.